Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today as you've seen in my title, that this will be a review of Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I've seen this movie once, and I've seen it the day after Valentine's Day because I knew on Valentine's Day everybody and their mamas and their papas and their cousins and their boyfriends and their girlfriends are going to be there. So I was like, no. Um, yeah, like I said, the next day I came and watched it, and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I read the book. I read the first and second book. And obviously everyone knows that the book is obviously better than the movie. Yes, we all know that, Sam. Okay, whatever. But they are missing the big points of the book. Like, well, I wouldn't say big points, but for me, like, the bigger points of the book on why Christian is the way he is. Now, I know in the book, Christian loved his classical music and he always recommend Anna different songs. And when they were in the Red Room... He would, like, when he was tying her limbs up, I remember that he was playing this certain song. I don't know what it is, obviously, but I read this so, much, so long ago. He played this one classical song, and the way, like, sh they described it, the only music part that they showed of Christian is when he was playing the piano, and how Anna was like, oh, every time you play the piano, it sounds sad. Well, yeah, because of his childhood and whatnot, and... But classical music is definitely one of the bigger things than the why and why that he loves playing music and everything else. Also, another thing is his love for wine. Yeah, in the movie they show him sending her wine or um, them having a glass of wine and whatnot. But they never really talked about I know it's like not a big deal, but I'm just saying like the little details like that really could mess up the whole dynamic of the movie. Even so, it's supposed to be all about Anna and both of them, whatever, but I feel like it needs to be more in depth of who Christian really is. And also the actor that plays Christian just irritated the hell out of me because, you know, Christian's supposed to have that uh, mysterious look, but still stern and also um, sad at the same time. But for the guy that played him, I, I mean, he's cool and all, but I feel like he didn't get the right look. He just looks like he was constipated or something's, I don't know. It just it looks like there's poop in a colon or something like that. When they email each other, obviously, you know, it's supposed to be short, like a text message, because no one wants to read all the messages. But still, it's like, and then Christian's supposed to sign out as Christian Grey, CEO of Grey Productions or whatever, you know what I mean? So Anna, I feel like she was way too sarcastic. Let, first, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me go back on that. Now, the the person who played Anna, I say she was perfect. Um, the awkwardness, the way that she... She is. She's supposed to be a plain Jane, which she was, but she's really pretty. Um, who's... I don't know. It's just... <laughs> my mind is going everywhere, so... Um, also, I feel like she played Anna really sarcastically. I, I don't know. It's just the tone of her voice is just... I, I don't know. I feel like she's way too sarcastic. I know she's supposed to be sarcastic in the book, but... As I pictured it, she she's not as sarcastic. She just wants to do it to piss him off. I guess that's where the sarcastic comes from. But I feel like there's more like kidding more than serious. I want to piss you off kind of thing. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Okay, but I'm usually the girl who has to read the book before I see the movie. The whole cliche of Anna's like, oh, I'm a virgin, and Christian's like. Oh, where have you been all my life? And she's like, oh, I was waiting for you. Like, shut the hell up. Really? That just doesn't go that way. It's just, it's just, it, I just feel it's like really, really dumb. Also, another thing is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is cool, I'm not going to lie. But something about that Beyonce crazy in love, that version of it, I hate it. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it. Like I said, it's supposed to be that classical music. It should be more classical, but then again, more modern days like us, obviously, it has to like pull together the whole emotion part. But I feel like if Christian, if Christian's love of music, it, I don't know, it, all of it should just like come together. And I really hated the Beyonce part in the red room and whatnot. It's just. Oh, but I gotta say another thing that their chemistry wasn't as real. It didn't feel real. But if you watch, I was talking to a good, great friend of mine the other day and he was like, oh yeah, they didn't have uh, good chemistry. Now that I'm thinking about it, he's right. 
and he was talking about Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That movie, they had chemistry. Like, you could see it, obviously. Well, obviously. I mean, come on. They're together now. But, I mean, like, it's just, it just need more chemistry. And Christian character, he looked like more of a creep. I don't know why. And he's supposed to have a more definite jawline and better body. Uh, he has a great body now, but, like, it's supposed to be better. All in all, it's a good movie. Um, there's a lot of sex in it. <laughs> Obviously, they took a lot of sex parts out, which is okay. But, yeah, too much sex. I, just, I could have I seen it in porn, Pornhub, you know. <laughs> but I, I really do like the storyline and whatnot. But obviously everything's so much better in the movie. Or not in the movies, but in the book. But I think that's all I have to say though. It'll suck if I leave out of this room. It's like, oh, I should have said this and that. But that's okay. I mean, you guys get my point. I, I feel like there's more negative than the positive. Uh, but one part of me wants to like it. And another part of me doesn't want to like it. But in all in all. I like the whole damn movie. I want to watch it again and again and again and again and again. But I'm not way too obsessed with it because... I'm not, but I'm not way too obsessed that just, oh my god, you, like, you know what I mean? You know how people are, like, really obsessed and other people are, like, oh, whatever. But I'm just, like, in the middle. It's a good movie, all. Alright, guys, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye!